So what is the file? You might have worked up till now in some or the other operating system. So you might have seen, say, you are you might be playing some song. So it is like one one dot mp3. You might have seen this. I'm just uh, you know anticipating some name, so it can be anything. One dot mp3. I'm just saying that it is some some file which you might have encountered, which plays song. Means it has some song inside it. In what form it is? How the operating system deals with it? So this is known as a file. The file can be of various types. We'll talk about that. And simply, a file can be known known as a name collection of related information on a secondary storage. Now you cannot uh, have a file in main, main memory. Means if this has to be this has to be played, it has to be brought into to the main memory. But when you want to see it, you will see it on the secondary storage, right? Uh? And data can't be written to secondary storage unless it is a file. So you have to convert in some file system or make some file so that you are able to write it to the secondary storage. So every file has certain defined structure and this type is very important. We'll talk about this type. It will come when we, this will be very important when we deal with different how to handle operating system, how it handles different type differently or different files of different type differently. So the file has certain fixed or defined structure that is we talk about text file that is .txt or say, say .doc you might have you know encountered that come across that. So these are just sequence of characters organized into a line. When you open this txt file you will see that you will find characters in it. You will, you will be able to see what you have written. Then we have source file like the subroutines and functions. These are sequence of subroutine and function. Your C file, your C++ file, all these are source file. When this source file is converted by the compiler, it becomes simply blocks. Please understand, these are just bytes. So now you, you have come to the lowest level. I'm not going to flip flops or say one or zero byte, one or zero, but the byte means eight, eight bit. So now you have come to the lowest level. So the blocks are the, the combination or sequence of bytes. Eight one eight bit means. So one one byte it became it give rise to a block. Then you have a executable file. These are simply the series of code sections. Now when you just click this file, you will be able to run it. Means it will execute. We'll see about that also. And these files, as I just said, we have file called one dot mp3. This file will have a contiguous logical address space. I don't know about the memory, actual memory, how it is written. But whenever we deal with the logical address space, it has to be contiguous. So there are certain types of uh, files. Different uh, operating system deals differently. The types are, uh, if uh, we talk about a data, they can also be programmed. So the data can be divided into numeric character or binary. Binary means totally bytes. Numeric character, character means text file. Similarly with the numeric one. 